Hi, my name is Monica Williams. I am the flute teacher for the Contra Costa Music Guild. And today's tutorial is going to be the second part of our beginner series, which is playing your first song and holding the flute. So today we're going to learn B, A, and G um, and how to play our first song. We're going to do this a little differently today. We're going to do B, A, and G with what I call only a one-handed flute. So we're going to hold the flute with our left hand while our right hand comes around and assists the holding of it. Why are we gonna do this? It's because holding the flute is actually really difficult and so is getting a sound. It's really important to get the right sound and hold your flute correctly. So this gives us a kind of um, a different way of experiencing the flute a little bit more gently at the beginning. So I'm making sure that I'm balancing it up to my face correctly and still um, working on the sound and fingers at the same time. Eventually we are going to break our fingers come like this, but right today we are going to work on it with just the top hand or the left hand. Before we do this though, let's make sure that we're setting up the flute correctly. So our embouchure hole here should be set up to my first key. So you can see that this and this are about lined up. The center of this meets the center of this first key. Okay, the foot joint meets the body um, so that the bar hits about the middle of the key. Now you would think that the bars would line up together, which would make sense, right? But no, not for holding the flute. We wanna make it so that it's about halfway through. Okay, so now that we got the flute set up, if you, first of all, if you haven't watched the first one about making a sound, start with that first. If you have, we're gonna get started with this. So the first thing we're gonna do is just learn the fingerings of B, A, and G without blowing into the flute. So we're gonna put our thumb on this part of the key here, not this part, okay? So we're gonna put it on this part. And then I'm going to turn my flute around and my index finger is going to kind of be curved around the flute kind of a little bit to the side, not like this, not way up in the air like this. It's literally resting, almost like a, almost like a pool cue there. It's really resting along this key right here. Now notice that this key, depresses this. And the reason for that is that your finger would have to stretch so far in order to get to that key. So although there's not a hole under this flute, this part, this is our first key that we touch. So we got the first finger and the thumb in this position, not over here. This is a B. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take the other hand and kind of help hold up the flute and put it to our face. We're gonna find that nice spot that we talked about in the first video, and we're gonna blow a low B. Okay, you try. Now, let's try four in a row together. Okay, those are Bs. The next note we're going to do is an A. Now, you have to look at this. This is slightly tricky because, well, first of all, I have holes in mine. Yours probably does not have holes. It's okay. But we're going to skip this next key and go to the third key here. So there's one in between that our finger does not control. Why? It's because this, this key actually makes this one go down. It's to make us to have a bigger, rounder combination of notes um, because we only have 10 fingers. So the flute was designed to have some keys that um, help assist other ones. So my first note is a B. My second note is an A, skipping that key. Okay, and my thumb is still down. This is an A. You go ahead and try. Try and just create a couple of them. Go ahead and pause the video if you want. Just try and get that note, an A. Okay, our next note is a G, which is adding our third finger down in our key flute. So this first one is a B, the second one was an A, the third one is a G. My thumb is down in that same spot for all three notes. So this is a G. Let's try getting some sounds with this. you try. Good. Now I just want to note one thing. Um, 
if you're not getting the sound out right away, don't get frustrated. Remember the greatest skill we can have as a flutist is, is to have patience. Go back to the first um, tutorial and work on just the head joint by itself um, or just work with the individual notes. A little bit of practice each day will really help this. If you're getting a higher sound than I was getting, they're getting the second octave or the second register of the flute. The flute has a great range to it. And we're gonna talk about the flexibility of octaves in a later video, but this one, let's just um, see if we can get the low one. If you're getting a higher one, it means one of two things. Either we're using a little too much air or the air direction is faster. So I might get, be getting this tone. That's not wrong, that's a B, A, and a G. It's just a higher octave. And I think it's nice to start in that lower register. So if you're getting that higher register, see if you can slow down your air a little bit and make your embouchure, the way you form your lips, just a little bit smaller so it's not quite as fast of an airstream, okay? Um, now, we're going to play our first song. We're gonna work on the B, the A, and the G. In order to do this first, I'm going to show my screen that will just have the fingerings of this. So I'm gonna let you look at the look at the screen um, and look at just the fingerings because I know that when you first start the flute, there's so many things that you have to be thinking of and how to hold this flute is, is really very, very challenging. I'll say it, it's harder to hold the flute than a lot of the instruments because there's no thumb key here. If you look at the clarinet, you look at the saxophone, they have a little bit of a thumb key to, to help hold this up. That's why we're just really focusing on this one hand to begin with. The other thing is it's completely round. The flute really wants to roll back in our hands like this. It's, it's actually weighted so that the bars are heavier and it really wants to be held rolled back like this. And then of course the final thing is is that if you look at the, the band, we're the only instrument that holds it out to the side. All the other instruments, they get to hold their instrument like this. They get to see their fingers, the trumpets, you know, the, the clarinets can look down to see their fingers. We don't get to do that. So you can practice in a mirror. That would be very helpful for your first start on this. So this first one, I actually didn't even put any notes on. It was It's for the recorder that, that I have written out, and it's only for this top hand, only for this left hand, so we can leave this one out completely. And you'll see that my first note right there is showing me that it's just my thumb plus one, that's a B. My thumb plus two, that's an A. My thumb plus three, that's a G. And don't even worry about what the notes are as you're working on it you know, to first in this exercise, but instead just look at where those fingers go. Remember, you're gonna be skipping this key. So if ever you run, it doesn't sound right, see, make sure that you're stretching this finger just a little bit um, to get this A. And I'm gonna reinforce the, the holding of this. Double check that your index finger is making a lot of contact with the flute. It shouldn't look like this up in the air. You know, that's way too much and it's gonna be hard to hold the flute when we get the other hands in. Instead, it should be down, curved, and like the flute is sitting on top of that, like a bird sitting on top of a perch there. Okay, we're gonna play our first song. For this exercise, I'm going to play the note and say one, B, two, A, or three, G, okay? And remember, we're gonna take the other hand and help guide us. We're gonna make sure that our flute is right in our place where the, the gum and the teeth meet. Our lip, bottom lip is hanging on top of about a fourth of the lip plate, and we're gonna begin our song. It's gonna start like this. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, two, one, 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 twos. Ones. One, two, three, two, one, two. So I did a little different ending on that one. My bad, I realized that this was a slightly different version, but that gives you the idea of this. Okay, next up, let's look at the song with the notes. Now you're gonna be practicing this for a while. This is an arrangement that I found that had some colors, um, but a B is in the very middle of the staff. This is your B. 
then A is a space note. It is one below that. A G is one below that. So it goes like this, B, A, G, which spells the word big, right? You're gonna get into reading music more. There's tricks to reading this treble clef music, but for right now, I'm gonna say the letter and we're gonna play it together, right? If you're having trouble with playing and sounding this, go ahead and just finger the notes. One thing you can do is take the, the head joint and rest it on your shoulder and just finger the notes. Actually, let's do this one. So we're, we're resting it on our shoulder. Oh, sorry, we're not gonna even hold, the, hold it with the other hand yet and holding it like this and let's just say and finger the notes together so I will tell you what they are but if you want to look in your screen I'll actually point as we do this okay I think we can I think I can balance this there we go okay so we're gonna start on this one it's a B with the first one ready go B A G A B B B, add your second finger for A's. A, 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 lift for B. B, 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 A, G, A, B, 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 A, A, B, A, G. Okay, so those are fingers only because that's important too. Now let's see if we can get the tone in place. So again, I'm going to take my right hand. I'm going to help hold my flute up. I'm going to make sure my index finger is curved around and we're going to start with a B. So your thumb is down and your first finger. Okay, let's try this. I will say the notes and then we'll play it. Ready? Go. B. A. G. A. B. A's, B's, B's, A, G, A, B, A, B, A, and G. Okay, so um, if you're watching this and you don't have access to the music, I'm sure you can Google lots of renditions of that. That is Mary Had a Little Lamb in the key of G, or you can look up Mary Had a Little Lamb for recorder. You should be able to find eons of music or arrangements that, that look just like that. So hopefully this was helpful, um, learning to play the flute with one hand and balancing it. Stay tuned for the next video when we work on balancing the entire flute with both hands.